Welcome back. I am very, very late in getting this out today. Um, I do work, and I work nights, and just had a bunch of things and ended up sleeping most of the day. So we are finally getting to this Wordle for September 3rd, 2024. Um, okay, finally got it looking right. Okay, Wordle for September 3rd. 2024 um and according to the rise to the equation channel we are supposed to do river today so r-i-v-e-r -E what do we get an i okay i like to check my t's and my s and obviously we don't have an e or an r um s-t-a i N. Stain. Let's try that. Okay, well that wasn't so bad, but nothing's in the right place. So, paint? P-A-I-N-T? Wow, because this could end up being a lot of different things, couldn't it? But let's try that. Paint. Okay. So what else can we be? Um, A-I-N-T, faint. We could be faint. Let's try faint. And that was it. Very good, very good, very good. Faint in four gives us 107 streak. And that wasn't so bad. River and stain was a very good choice. Paint and faint. So there you have Wordle for September 3rd, 2024. See you tomorrow. Bye bye for now. I'm going to try strands again for September 3rd, 2024. What is normally my morning routine has now become an afternoon routine because of work. Uh, striking sounds. Okay, so like a bell. I see clang right away. Um... Let's see, a striking sound, um, B-E-L-L, -L. nope, not tower, just bell, um, let's see if we can figure out striking sound like a siren would be but that's not here tolls um, we could try the clang just to see where it gets us bell I also see Beige, B E I G, not really. Uh, ring, ring. So, to see, that reinforces the bell thing. Bell tones? Let's try. B E L L T O N E S. That's the spangram. Okay, so ring, clang, toll. Um, what else does a bell do? Jingle. Peel. But then what would this be? Nell? I'm not so sure about that. Well, let's give it a try. Peel, yeah. What is a nell? That's what it was. Okay, I'm not sure what a nell is. Um... What is this word? This we have two more words. Okay, so tinkle, T I N K L E, and chime. Got that one pretty quickly. There we go, and we got the spangram first this time. Perfect. Didn't use any hints. Very good. So that was um, strands for September third, twenty twenty four. Hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye for now. Now we're going to try my nemesis connections. It is Monday, 
September 3rd, 2024. No, it's Tuesday. I'm sorry. Um, so it should hopefully be easier, although I didn't think yesterday was easy at all. Let's see. We have two real, four spare, one arrow, extra pound, knuckle excuse over block, save beyond pardon and yend. So we have two, four, one, which all sound like numbers, but I don't know who else sounds like a number. Excuse, beyond, spare, aeronautical, pound, yen. Yeah, none of the others sound like numbers, so... Um, boy, this just, just always gets me. Let's see. Um, that could be excuse or excuse. But if we excuse, then we pardon. We... Bear, that's kind of a weak connection, but you can excuse someone, you can pardon someone, you can spare them the trouble. Um, wow. That's very distracting, 214. <laughs> it's very distracting. Okay, I don't really... Let's see, um, extra over, um, extra over, Excuse or excuse. Save is kind of. Mm, you save them, you excuse them, you pardon them, you spare them. Uh, I don't know. Arrow. You, let's see. Over can go with a lot of different things. Run over. Jump over. Overboard. Um... If you have a spare, you have an extra. A yen can be like a, a yearning for or a preference. Or it's a form of money, which a pound is also. A yen, a pound... Huh. Four. Real. Wow. Nothing is coming to me. Nothing at all except for what I did there. Save, excuse, pardon, spare. But spare goes with extra also. You can have too much, over much, beyond. And that could almost go with spare too, because you've got spare parts. But the two, 
I'm not real sure. I'm going to try this. Oh, that was it. Absolve. Excuse, pardon, save, spare. Okay, well, we got that one by luck, mostly. Um, although I was thinking, you know, you save someone, you excuse them, you pardon them, spare them the trouble, absolve. Okay. Um, we have a knuckle. Um, knuckle bone. But nothing else seems to fit. Two over... Beyond block. A block could be like a cube thing, or it could be that you're blocking someone, like you're you're getting in their way. Um, a city block. Um, extra. Let's try those four. Yes, excessively. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Um, <clears throat> now it's getting tough. Okay, we have an arrow, which could point to something. It could be... Um, one... See, a pound and a yen would be money. Is there a money that's a one? But I don't know what else. Knuckle. I'm thinking like knuckle bones, but that's not money. Uh, real. Block. This always gets me. It does. A pound could be like for dogs, too, um, where you keep stray animals. Uh, let's see. One for... Then you got to think of wordplay, too. Um... Like the one and the four being, I think it's called a homophone for the numbers one and four. But nothing else works with that. If it's real, real estate, real deal, real, hmm. An arrow, huh, points the way. Wow, I really am not sure because knuckle really throws me like brass knuckles, um, but it doesn't have an S. Uh, Knuckle. Wow. Oh, boy. I am very, very stuck on this one. Yen. <coughs> mm. Okay. Oh boy, we're spending a lot of time on this. Forehead, blockhead, knucklehead, arrowhead. Okay, those are something head. Yes, okay, there we go, finally. So, real, pound, one, and yen. I don't know what they have in common. Real, pound, one, well, let's see what it says, because I'm not going to sit here forever. 
Global currencies. Oh, so those are currencies. I said something to do with money, didn't I? Wow, I didn't know a real. Oh, like in um, Brazil, maybe, or something like that. Real? Real? I don't know. Okay, well, there you go. We got it by Pure Luck Connections. Let me see. I'm, my current streak is four. Look, my max streak is only 14. 35 perfect puzzles. Well, you know, um, <laughs> I'm just not so good at connections. But we'll try it again tomorrow, September. This was September 3rd, 2024. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye for now. Thank you.